By this point, you have been evaluated by a surgeon and determined to be a candidate for surgery. We as anesthesiologists are consulted to evaluate you. When we meet, we study who you are. This includes your age and weight, your allergies, and the medications you take. It is important for us to know how much physical activity you can do, and it is equally important for us to know if you smoke, drink alcohol, or do any drugs, because these may affect how you respond to the anesthesia we give you. Altogether, we use this information and a physical examination to determine your anesthesia risks and the best anesthesia plan for your surgery. On the day of your surgery, you check into your waiting area. You get an ID band and IV, which allows us to give you medications before, during, and after the surgery. When the operating room is set up, we take you to it and it will look something like this. You will see your nursing, surgery, and anesthesia teams with masks on. However, you are the most important person in the room. There will be a bed for you. You will see an anesthesia machine and surgery table with tools. Once you lie down, we connect you to several monitors like the pulse oximeter, blood pressure cuff, and EKG wires. Altogether, these monitors tell us how you are doing when you are under anesthesia. Once you are connected, we do a timeout to make sure everything is in order for your surgery. We then give you oxygen through a mask and ask you to take deep breaths. After a few minutes, we give you medications through your IV and you comfortably go to sleep. This is a bird's eye view of the operating room and you during this time. Once you are asleep, your eyes are protected and a breathing tube is put in place. While you are under anesthesia, the monitors we connected you to tell us how you are doing. The pulse oximeter tells us how well you are breathing, the blood pressure cuff gives us your blood pressure, and the EKG wires show your heart rhythm and heart rate. We also monitor your temperature, and we pay very close attention to these vital signs and we are trained to respond and treat any changes if necessary. The anesthesia machine or ventilator is a very powerful tool. It tells us how much you breathe in and out and how frequently you are breathing, and if necessary, these settings are easily adjusted. We look at all these things and communicate often with the surgery team during your surgery to keep you stable and steady. How you do during the surgery and all that we do is documented in your anesthesia record. Once the surgery is over, you stop receiving anesthesia and receive medications to prevent pain, nausea, and vomiting so that you are as comfortable as possible waking up. And when it is clear you are strong enough to breathe on your own, we remove the breathing tube. You then go to the post-anesthesia care unit, also known as the PACU, where you will fully recover from general anesthesia.